to a series of A Slice of Life. My name is Meher Juzbek Parucha and today my father and I are going to be discussing certain issues that most children, adults and teenagers face. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. How do we overcome depression? Very common, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's getting more and more common and unfortunately the age bracket is reducing now. Hmm. First you heard about depression in adults. Now, depression amongst children has become very common. And I think that's, that's a very sad thing. See, Meher, there's a difference between being sad and there's a difference in being depressed. You need to understand yes. that. Can you elaborate more? Yeah. Being sad would mean something has not worked out for you and it has affected you. Okay? So you got sad. Depressed. If you are really depressed, you will not get out of bed. So first of all, this word that we go on using, depression is kind of now very overused. Real depression, that person will not want to get out of bed. So we need to understand sadness being heartbroken and being depressed. Question, so many, so many times I don't want to get out of bed, but I do get out of bed. So depression would mean when I don't get out of bed for anything. Imagine, imagine, I'll give you an example of depression. Let's say you worked very hard. Okay. For a particular project. Mm -hmm. And you want a company to approve that project. And suddenly the company has shown interest in your project. And they say tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, please come and make your presentation. If you are truly depressed, no, you will not even bother. You will say, I don't, I don't care. Okay. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You will say, what is this project going to do? It will give me more money. Ah, I don't care. You are getting it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you're sad, heartbroken, whatever, you will say, hey, this is important, let me do it. Because a part of your brain is working yet. In depression, you are in a fog. Suicides take place in depression. Because suddenly, life has no meaning. There is a futility about existence in depression. Okay. In sadness, there is a futility about that situation. Mm. Lover has gone away. But you will perform your duties in all the other aspects of your life. But in serious depression, nothing matters anymore. Then I would suggest that person seek counseling, seek medication. A lot of times depression is also caused because of imbalance in the body. Hormones, ferritin, electrolytes. And then depression, um, denial is high. So that is, is it? No, that, that person is not interested. So in sadness, denial is high? Yeah. Sadness, heartbreak, denial is high. In depression, that guy doesn't care. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. But this is how I am. I'm not getting out of bed. You need to understand one thing very important. A lot of times depression, depression comes forth from physical imbalance. So we always tell people, please go and get a blood test done, get your electrolytes checked, get your hormones checked, get your ferritin checked. And now get the... your vitamin D checked, get your vitamin uh, B12 checked. I think it's increasing now because yeah. um, there's no substance in our food either. So iron and... A lot of things are not available. But remember one thing. Certain people use depression as an excuse. They are just born lazy. Ah, okay. Okay? <laughs> Please understand. Huh? Certain people... you use... get it to such a drastic... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're getting food on the bed, you're getting TV there, books there, everything that I guess is bugger all of you. I'm comfortable here. That's self-centeredness, right? Yes. So, 
that is why we normally say if a person is behaving this way you need guidance because as a family we might not really understand the situation call in the experts okay so how do we deal with depression if the person is really badly depressed then in all probability you would need counseling and medical help right how do we deal with sadness and heartbreak is by understanding that everything is not going to come my way i am not going to get all my dreams accomplished mm -hmm. everyone is not going to give me the same kind of love and respect i give them mm -hmm. my children might grow up and go away go on a different tangent when you have understood life that things may happen and you say this is life then you can you know pull yourself out and walk so when you accept gracefully accept after giving your best okay let's say a father really really has loved his children and now the children have grown up and they don't really care about him what can the poor man do he got heartbroken depressed get sad if he understands that you know what this is life sometimes people move on sometimes relationships don't last till the finishing line man that is why i keep telling you breathe and be calm breathe and be calm these are very essential things i try being calm but i don't breathe but i do breathe otherwise i wouldn't be living. yeah you don't you are not calm because you're not focused on breath excuse me yeah <laughs> so anyway you understood yes so depression is a very loaded word we are using it a little too freely you know that guy is drinking wine eating food i'm very depressed i'm very depressed baba you're not depressed you'd be you'd be lying horizontal on bed at the moment not wanting to look at food or wine that is depression so profound i am very profound okay okay jai baba yeah.